Do you use generative AI tools like ChatGPT in your daily life? Writing reports, brainstorming ideas, researching information. Many of you probably can't imagine living without them anymore. The convenience of generative AI is truly remarkable, isn't it? It gives you instant answers and provides personalized feedback. Many people feel that tasks like academic writing, programming, and information gathering have become dramatically more efficient. Indeed, numerous studies report significant improvements in task performance. But here's the problem, there's a major pitfall we're missing. Performance improvement, from generative AI and, genuine learning, are completely different things. Today, I want to dive deeper into this critical distinction. Let's start by clarifying the difference between performance and learning. A classic example of performance is, grades or test scores. Grades refer to immediate, temporary results like test scores or assignment quality. They're heavily influenced by external factors, the tools you use, your environment, and various other circumstances. Learning, on the other hand, refers to lasting changes in knowledge or abilities gained through experience. True learning means you can independently apply that knowledge and transfer it to new situations. Here's a familiar example. Imagine cramming the night before an exam and getting a high score the next day, but forgetting everything a week later. That's good, performance, but unfortunately, not real, learning. Surprisingly, current research on generative AI often overlooks this crucial distinction. Even large-scale studies claim to investigate student learning, but actually only measure improvements in academic performance. So how does generative AI really affect our genuine learning? To understand this, we need to examine three critical psychological processes involved in learning. 1. Impact on cognitive load. Generative AI reduces the mental burden, or cognitive load, of complex tasks. Students who used ChatGPT to research social issues reported feeling significantly less mental strain compared to those using traditional search engines. By offloading difficult tasks to AI, we free up mental workspace in our working memory. This sounds beneficial, right? But there's a catch. Reduced cognitive load doesn't automatically lead to deeper thinking. In fact, research shows that students who relied heavily on ChatGPT for information gathering actually develop weaker reasoning and argumentation skills compared to those who did their own thorough research. 2. Impact on metacognition, our ability to control our own thinking. Even more concerning is how generative AI interferes with metacognition. Metacognition is our ability to think about our own thinking, essentially knowing what we know and what we don't know, and adjusting our learning strategies accordingly. It's an essential skill for effective learning. Research on academic writing found that students who frequently used generative AI developed metacognitive laziness. Instead of checking task requirements themselves, comparing their drafts against evaluation criteria, or critically analyzing source materials, they delegated these crucial evaluation tasks to AI. These self-assessment activities are essential for judging work quality, identifying areas for improvement, and regulating the learning process. When we outsource these critical self-regulation skills, self-evaluation, autonomous planning and revision, deep engagement with materials, to AI, we risk undermining our capacity for independent learning. Furthermore, when we delegate metacognitive activities to AI, our role in learning diminishes, and we may lose intrinsic motivation. According to self-determination theory, motivation depends heavily on learner autonomy and active engagement. 3. Complex effects on self-confidence. Generative AI usage has complex effects on learner confidence. For example, one study found that while university students who frequently used generative AI felt more confident and efficient in complex problem-solving and assignment creation, they simultaneously developed greater technological dependence. This technology dependence can be problematic in the long term, potentially eroding our capacity for independent learning and reducing our resilience when facing new challenges. So how should we address these challenges? To maximize the educational potential of generative AI, we need to fundamentally rethink research design and result interpretation. First, we must clearly distinguish between performance and learning. It's crucial to determine whether generative AI truly enables learning or merely provides temporary performance boosts. To evaluate genuine learning retention, we need to measure long-term memory and knowledge transfer. Second, we need to investigate more deeply how generative AI affects cognitive processes like memory encoding, understanding, and retrieval. 
By understanding these underlying brain mechanisms, researchers can more accurately assess whether eye-enhanced education truly promotes deep learning, knowledge, application, and lasting skill development, or merely facilitates task completion. Finally, researchers should examine the long-term effects of educational AI tools. We still need to investigate how AI tools affect knowledge retention and skill development over time, and how AI-assisted learning interacts with existing knowledge. Educators and developers of educational AI tools can ensure that generative AI promotes genuine learning rather than just performance gains. The key is encouraging learners to critically evaluate AI-generated outputs, rather than passively accepting them, thereby fostering active metacognition. We must balance efficiency with autonomy, positioning generative AI as a support tool rather than a replacement for independent cognitive effort. Tools like ChatGPT certainly improve learner performance and reduce cognitive load. However, they also risk hindering the formation of deep understanding, memory consolidation, and independent, problem-solving abilities that are essential for genuine learning. The key is using generative AI as a complement to human learning, not a replacement. We must ensure that learners don't just depend on AI tools but can also perform effectively without AI assistance, developing solid knowledge and skills. True educational innovation lies in harmonizing technological advancement with human growth. We stand at a critical crossroads right now. If you found this video helpful, please let me know with a thumbs up. If you want to learn practical solutions using behavioral economics, don't miss our next video. Please subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every Friday at 6 p.m.